Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Mike Parsons. We're participating here in the Praying for the Children's event on the uh, Capitol Steps in Montgomery, Alabama. Uh, our next speaker is Miss Betty Peters. She is a former member of the Alabama State Board of Education. She represented District 2. A Republican, uh, Peters was first elected in November 2002 and was sworn in on the following January. She served until 2019. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Betty Peters. Miss Betty. Very glad to be here this afternoon, and I was delighted to hear what Joan Landis said. She expressed in much greater detail than I had previously understood the dangers to our children that have been brought on by the data collection and all the things that go with it the social emotional learning, the uh, values clarification is what we used to call some of it. We're getting away from academics and the children, as, as she expressed much better than I can, are at such risk now and we've got to get rid of Common Core which enables all of this. I remember in 2010 before Alabama voted about Common Core, we were already told that there were parts of a bill or, or parts of an application package that we had as a state to agree on. And one of the big things was a longitudinal database that would interact with other states. I, I was concerned about that and I never supported it. But Joan is like a, you know, a, 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 a the football coach on, on Monday morning explaining what went on. Now we know exactly that our worst fears were well founded. And I do hope that the word will get out what she has explained so clearly, more clearly than I've ever, ever heard, that we have to take care of our children's private information. And the, the laws that used to do that are now like Swiss cheese. They're just holes everywhere. And I think people are catching on. Uh, and I, I do hope that we will be able to get this message all over America. Joan Landis really explained it well. <laughs> 